Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and we're back with Blender 2.66 and lots of cool stuff have been added to Blender and this time around we'll be uh, building a nice little clip using the built-in bullet physics in Blender and from uh, blend, uh, Blender 2.66 and forth we'll be uh, having physics built in the, uh, the viewport which is uh, super cool and previously, in order to have physics in your scenes, you had to uh, use the game engine and then record the keyframes for the uh, physics and kind of bake them and then use them to render your clips and stuff like that. But now uh, it's a lot better, a lot easier to work with the uh, bullet physics in the viewport. And we're going to create a classic uh, clip. I've seen it and actually built it lots of times in Cinema 4D and uh, it's pretty easy to build it now in Blender and let's see why, let's begin, I'll hit the X key while the default cube here is selected and select delete and hit shift A and add mesh a UV sphere. okay I'll hit 1 on my memory keypad for the front perspective view and 5 for the front author and what I'll do is hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode and then click this one as well and I'll hit the A key to deselect all and hit B click and drag, select the upper part of our sphere and hit the X key to delete vertices OK now what I'll do is hold down the Alt key and right click to select this loop of polygons you can, uh, of, yeah you can see it right here and again hit 1 for the front of you and what I'll do now is hit G and Z to grab and move this uh, row of vertices on the Z axis at about here. And what I'll do now is hit the E key and Z to move my extruded vertices on the Z axis slightly at about here. And I'll also hit the S key to scale them slightly inwards. OK. E once more to extrude. We have another set of vertices. I'm hitting the right mouse button to cancel any movement for the extruded vertices and I'll hit the S key to scale them down at about here. And once more, hit the E key, right mouse button, and hit S to scale them down. And I'll hit 1 on my mirror keypad for the front of you. And for my sphere now, I'll move over to the modifiers, click this little icon for the object modifiers, and I'll add a mirror modifier. And what I'll do now is hit the E key to extrude on the Z axis and move my extruded vertices up. And time to change the axis here for the mirror modifier. We want the, our object to be mirrored along the Z axis. So I'm unchecking X and checking Z. OK. And I'll also check clipping. So now if I hit G and Z to grab and move my vertices on the Z axis, you can see that there is a point that they uh, all clip together. OK. And what I'll do now is hit Ctrl R for a loop cut. You can see my loop cut here. I click the left mouse button and move it down a bit. OK. Now I'm hitting the Tab key to switch from Edit to Object Mode and click Add Modifier and I'll add the Subdivision Surface Modifier. And what I'll also do is click Smooth under the Shading tab here at the Object Tools. OK. And you can see my circle here, my sphere here, excuse me. And I think we're good at about there. What I'll do to move on is click Apply at the Mirror Modifier and I'll keep the Subsurf Modifier as it is. And I think this looks pretty fine. And what I'll do is hit the Tab key to switch from uh, Object to Edit Mode and Control Tab for the Select Mode and Select Face. Now I'll add some materials to my object here. Click the, uh, this little icon to move over to the Material Panel and let's just hit tab again to move back to object mode and click new for new material I'll call this one main underscore one and this is going to be the main material for my sphere I'll bring the specular density down to zero let's change the diffuse color and I'm going to make this one slightly pinkish right about here and I'll also add some mirror Check mirror and add some reflectivity. I'll set it up to 0 0.2. And what I'll do is increase the Fresnel value. Let's set it up to say 1.76. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll also increase the blend let's set the blend to uh, 1.7 and the Fresnel let's set it to 1.9 let's say okay at about there now what I want for my object here is to add another material on the same object so I'm clicking this little plus icon here and click new and I'll call this one white okay and for this one I'll add the slight mid value I'll set it to 0 0.2 and keep the diffuse color I want to be white and bring the specular intensity down to 0 now this material the white material I want it to be applied at the mid row of uh, faces here so I'm holding down the alt key let's select those and shift alt select those and what I do now is move over to select and click select and let's select more you can also hit control plus on your mirror keypad for uh, selecting more uh, faces and I think we're good at about there and now we have the faces selected we have the material selected and I'll click assign to assign the specific material on the selected faces okay now I'll hit the tab key to switch from edit object mode I'll hit one on my mirror keypad for the front author view and I'll hit shift D to create a duplicate of my, of my sphere here oh, before I do that let's delete the duplicate select the sphere and what I want for the uh, rigid body for the uh, physics to be applied on my object I have the sphere here selected and I'll click add active and now this object has physics it's all so simple so shift D to create a duplicate of my sphere you can see the duplicate right here and let's change the material for this one I'll change the main material click it and click this little do icon I want a unique material for this object and I'll call this one main underscore 2 and let's change the color for this one let's make it a bright yellow green color okay and as you can see since I've copied the first sphere we also have rigid body uh, for the for both our spheres here Okay, now I'll hit 1 on my mirror keypad for the front of view. And what I'll also do is select the sphere, hit the del key on my mirror keypad, the comma key. And I'll hit Ctrl, Alt and 0 to roughly position the camera. I want it to look uh, straight to my objects here. And let's move over to the object data for the camera. Let's select it. And we, we want the X and Z to be at 0 and let's move our camera back a bit it is at minus 12 let's set it at minus 17 okay and what I'll also do is right mouse button click to select the lamp hit 7 on my mirror keypad and I'll hit the G key to grab it let's move it at about here okay now I'm holding down the shift key I'm selecting one sphere and then holding down the shift key to select them both and I'll hit one on my uh, mirror keypad for the front of view or perhaps let's hit 0 for the camera perspective view and I'll hit G let's move it uh, let's move up my spheres here away from the camera frame and now that they're away I can hit shift D to create duplicates and shift D again some more duplicates let's hit 7 let's try to place them randomly around okay and yeah, one on my mirror keypad for the front of view. Select them all. And then shift D. I'll hit the R key to rotate them. And I'm just adding some variation at the uh, sphere's position. Okay, grab. Let's move them at about here. Now I'll hit the A key to deselect all. Hit B. Click and drag. Select them. And hitting one or perhaps zero on my mirror keypad for the camera perspective view and shift D to create another set of duplicates and I think we're good at about there now they're, they're all selected I'll hit the R key and rotate them and then shift D for another set of duplicates that hit zero I want them to be out of the frame camera away from the frame camera and hit 7 I'll hit R to rotate them and then again trying to create some variation on the position of the spheres around the camera frame okay 
Now we have our spheres here uh, in place. Now if I hit play, all we can see is our spheres falling to the ground. Well, actually there is no ground, but they're falling down. And this has to do with gravity. We have the gravity here enabled. We have the Z set to uh, minus 9.8. Uh, which is the actually the earth gravity let's set it to zero we don't want any gravity for our scene here but what we do actually want and i'll hit shift a and let's add force feed let's add some force now i'll move over to the um, physics for the force field for the mt that acts as a force field and you can see the settings for the force and I'll just a slight amount of noise, let's set it to 0 0.2 and what I'll do here for the strength is set it to from 1 to actually minus let's say 300 and what I'm telling Blender here is that I want the objects that uh, are being affected by the physics I want them to be pulled in by the strong force uh, applied in our scene through this field, through this empty here now let's hit 0 for the camera perspective view. Let's move back to frame 1 and let's now hit play. It takes some time now. And you can see our spheres coming into the frame and colliding. I'm just going to select the uh, camera frame and move over to the camera options and change the focal length let's bring it down at about 29 all right and what i'll also do is hit one for the front of you select my spheres on the right and let's move them away from the camera frame z and x to move them on the x-axis let's see that again hitting play and as you can see we have our spheres here pulled inwards by the strong uh, force okay and this one looks pretty nice all right and you can see that each sphere tries to uh, be where the empty where the force field is okay looking good we have some random some nice motion we have the balls flying around and stuff like that and I think it's time to uh, render an image to see and what I'll do for the uh, before rendering an image I'll move over to the world option change the horizon color let's set it to an almost white color and we'll also add an environment lightning the energy is set to 1 the color is set to white and I think we're good let's try and render a frame to see And as you can imagine, you can also use cycles for rendering your clip, your animation here. But I think it looks pretty nice even with uh, the standard uh, Blender internal. Let's try to grab a better frame. I think we're good at about there. And... As I always say, feel free to fiddle with the physics, with the settings. You can uh, actually change the uh, type of, of material the spheres use for the physics settings. Feel free to fiddle with the colors, with the lightning. And this is just a simple example of what you can do with the built-in physics in the Blender viewport. So this is it. This is uh, our little clip here. I'll render some... Uh, Nice animation for you to see. This is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.